for this. It's already pre-cooked. And some people get up, but why do you wash your food already? And it's already pre-cooked. You have to because sometimes it will still be seen in it. No matter how processed it are, you still have to wash it. Um, I wash everything. My meat, I wash it with vinegar and everything. I'm going to wash this really, really good. I'm not going to wash it too much because I don't want all the seeds to come out. So I want a little bit, most of the bitterness to wash out. And this is the kit today. This is one pack and a half. Started almost. I left some a little bit so I can eat my day dry recipe. I'm not going to wash it too much. I'm just going to let the hot water run over it a little bit. It's already pre-cooked. It comes pre-cooked in the bag. So it's not going to be hard to cook. So I finished washing this with warm water. I'm going to let it drain out a little bit. And then I will add it in my pot and then um, start cooking it. But the kit today, you have to wash it right two or three times because that bad boy is bitter. Hey guys, it's the Snow House back in the kitchen. Today I'm cooking bitter boy and kit today So I actually bought five pack of bitter boy in the big bag so i'm going to wash this really really good seriously going to wash it out um some people like the double key a little bit bitter 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 some people like it a little bit bitter so i'm cooking it in the in between it's not going to be super bitter but it's going to have a bitter taste so i'm going to wash this um four bag and a half with warm water and then I will cook it in this pot and then cook the kitada in another pot. Another pot because the kitada is super bitter than the bit apple. Let's get this started. Right now I got the everything staining down. Just put the bony in. I'll put the dry fish in later. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so my meat can cook very well. Then can make a mess. This is how I measure my soup water. I fill this up with hot water and then I pour it into my soup. So I'm gonna let this cook really, really good before I add the kit today and the bit. Okay, so now I'm taking out the chicken feet for in here before it be too soft. But everything you can think about is in here crawfish, bunny, crab shrimp chicken feet high chicken dry chicken and i'm going to drop a little bit of dry fish in there little on mm, how do you like my new spoon it's really pretty i got it from the african store they're bad boys expensive But it's pretty good though so far I'm gonna make sure I take all the chicken feet out I'm going to add some of my season that I blend I'm going to add it into my soup and add a couple of chicken soup so for this type of gear I probably be, probably will be using by probably about five or ten market cube for this pot and the reason why because Kitade and bitter boy is very easy to get salty, so you want to use less maggi cube for this spot. So I'm going to add three three chicken. So I just added a little bit of seasoned salt. I'm gonna stir. It. I'm gonna leave my pot open so my water can dry because when you cover the pot, it's more steam getting into. I got my chicken feet right here and I got my fish. Today I'm going to rinse it out with a little bit of hot water. Rinse the bitterness a little bit. And then I start mashing it up. So I'm mashing it up the old fashioned way. You can put it in the blender. But I'm doing the old fashioned way for now. <laughs> If my hand gets tired, then I will switch it. So 
So I just wasted the water from the bitter ball. And then I blend the kitchen and I blend the bitter ball. Put it in there. I just added the dry fish. And now I'm going to add the kitchen and the bitter ball. And let it cook for a little bit. I just added the dry fish. Now I'm going to add the kit to the end and the that ball and let it cook for a little bit. So this is the kit to the and the that ball. I'm going to add it into my meat. Add the kit to the end and the that ball into the meat. I'm going to add five more chicken soup. Mark it cute into this pot. And this is what I'm using. Just added the red oil. Terbiki oil. The Babalo Juicer. Just want to say thanks guys for watching. This is the Kitale and Bitter Butter Burgi. I will see you later from my kitchen to your kitchen. This is Kitale Bitter Butter Burgi. And make sure leave a little bit of water in your food and add your red oil and add a little bit of seasoned salt to it. Alright then. Bye guys. See you guys later.